This small bundle is a crayfish and minnow trap. It's an accordion style trap, and believe it or not, fully extended, it stretches over 2.2 meters in length. This is my favorite trap as far as storage space, as far as efficiency, as far as effectiveness and price, you can't beat this one. Uh, it does have weights along the bottom. As you see, I've extended it all the way out. Uh, you have side entrances, four on each side, one, two, three, four, alternating the sections. On the other side, again, one, two, three, and four. Uh, you have two portholes for access over here and on this end, and simply you've got to tie them shut. Make sure they're tied before you throw them out. Uh, we put dog food in the side of it, and we throw it out in the water. Now, the way I do this is just a little bit different. Uh, over here on my left, I've got this green sapling. That's not by accident. This is actually a piece of buckeye. It's about eight foot long, and I'm going to use this uh, to kind of stretch my trap out, kind of like a bow. So it's going to keep this taut, keep it all the way extended, and that way I can catch as many crawfish as possible uh, before I go and pull it up. So I've got this over here. I've got a couple pieces of rope as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie it on. I use securing hitches or securing knots. Two half hitches work pretty well. And uh, I simply just bundle up the cloth and there's just going to be spare cloth at the end. I tie that on really well. If, uh, if you need to, go ahead and tie some more knots on there just to have the peace of mind. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it on to the end of the stick. Same thing, securing knots. On the other side, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, pull it really tight. Because again, I want this to stay extended all the way out. Push that on down. Grab my other string. And notice how I'm bundling it all up. Securing knot on. And I'm just going to tie it off to the end. And uh, I'm actually tying this so tight that the stick is bowing just a little bit. Use whatever knot you've got. And there's my trap. Beautiful, elegant trap. Check out how long that is. Quite a bit longer than I am. So the ability to catch a lot of bait is definitely there. Now baiting this, go ahead, as always, use just a little bit of dog food. It doesn't take much, but I'm gonna make sure it's scattered all the way through. So every other section, Put a half a handful in. And one of the cool features is, is that uh, these entrances, they're, uh, they're one-way entrances, as always with your crawfish and minnow traps. But here at the end, you actually have a secondary catch mechanism. And there is an additional funnel entrance right here into this last section. So whenever you're getting your crawfish out, you simply tip up the back end and they all fall forward. And again, if they get all the way down here, there's no way for them to, to really get out, even if they're just wandering around all night long. Uh, two funnels is a bit much for them. So we're gonna go ahead and set this out. There it is. It's pretty good. And to do so, I've got a small section of creek right here. I'm simply gonna set it right in the water. I'm gonna give this a few hours. Usually that's all it takes. It at least needs to be just a bit submerged. I've got a little bit on top. That's fine for this for this area. And we'll see what we catch. Wish you luck.